best or worst big wall pooping stories. Vast this of Jordan Cannon and Tommy Caldwell. Hmm. Not to put you on, not to put pressure on you, but they both had great stories. I have, I have better for sure. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm curious about best, that story. Tommy, best might, Tommy or worst. might have some insane. Oh, well, I mean, it depends. L- let me hear some competition. I'll, I'll frame my, uh, like, <laughs> okay. what, what was Tommy's? I'm uh, trying to remember. I remember he was like, he was doing. Because uh, I mean, he's pooped on a wall so many times. Totally. Yeah. He was he doing something. I can't remember exactly what he was climbing. Maybe it was when he did his double and he was doing ma- um, the free rider after mm-hmm. doing Magic mm-hmm. Mushroom or something. But he, uh, he didn't know that Dean Potter was doing some like link up variation that hadn't been done yet so he like went over to the other side of this ledge and like pooped off this ledge thinking it was totally out of the way of everything and it ended up being like right where dean potter like had to climb through on this like link up or whatever new route he was doing or new variation he was yeah doing. that would be the round table that's on the free runner that's yeah. classic that's like had to like the belay, very like right next to his his poop that's <laughs> classic yeah that's funny yeah no i have a bunch of uh pooping while free soloing stories Okay, because nothing nothing loosens you up like like uh, soloing. I you really bet. sort of, you know, you're like, oh, I kind of need to poop. You're like, this is really scary. Uh, I'm like, which I don't even know which one to start with. They're a bunch <laughs> of like extreme. There's a recent one that's maybe almost too embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but it's like a bit much. I'm like, is it for public consumption? I've told all my friends. I think it, it is. Insane. You think it is? I think it is. Okay, so here's here's a story. Uh, so this last fall. I was uh, working on the Hurt, the big Red Rock Traverse, Han's Ultimate Red Rock Traverse, which actually, um, I think Real Rock is releasing a film of it in like next week or something. But so there should be a little like 30 minute film online with, okay. of like doing this Traverse. Uh-huh. But the but the Traverse was me doing all the peaks in Red Rock. I did like 14 classic degrees, blah, 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 whatever. So it was like giant day. But on this specific day, I was uh, just going up to do uh, Crimson Chrysalis. Actually, I was gonna do the entire uh, entire entire rainbow mountain massif through the night so that's like crimson chrysalis over to the rainbow wall up the bird hunter buttress across and down solar side it was like three classic routes up and over this mountain summoning a couple different things big hiking i thought it would take me about five hours of soloing into the dark and i thought that when i did the whole traverse i would get there at nighttime so i'd intentionally hiked in from the exit of red rock uh sort of near dark intending to do it all in the dark uh, so it'd be more realistic for the ultimate traverse that i was working on Anyway, uh, some context. I think I'd given myself Giardia earlier that season Oof. in Red Rock, uh, drinking untreated puddle water uh, because it was really hot. And there were a couple of days where I wound up doing much more than I expected. And, and you're hiking down these canyons. And there was a heavy monsoon last summer, so there was still some water in the canyons in places. And some of the puddles look good. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but I had some things going on with my bowels, which whatever. Then more context because there was a lot of water there were it was crazy mosquito year so like at dawn and dusk there were like crazy dense mosquitoes out mm. which which i didn't know existed in red rock i'd never experienced it before but so all that to say so i ate dinner with my wife hiked into the canyons at like sunset ish it was hot i was like felt kind of gross because you're hiking uphill really quickly in extreme heat september in vegas i was dying i got to crimson it was like oh i feel like i'm dying started soloing this route which is a uh, I don't know, like an eight or 10 pitch, eight plus, but it's like really hard actually. And it's like a blank face with no relief. Like there are no ledges, there's no anything. Mm. I was getting swarmed by mosquitoes the whole time, getting eaten alive. And basically two pitches from the summit, I was like, I'm gonna, my pants. I was like, oh no, it's like very dire. No and, ledge, you're not standing on a ledge. No, anything. no, there are no, like there aren't even ledges to pop your shoes or anything. It's oh, like, man. you're just on a blank face. Yeah. And, uh, and really like smooth varnished rock, small holds, you're sort of like, it's like a really blank face. And I was like, and it was getting dark, dark to the point where I needed a headlamp soon. And I was like, basically, I'm racing for the summit, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, about my pants. And I was like, I hope I make it to the top before I have to pull out my headlamp. I mean, it's fine. I had a backpack on. I could pull out my headlamp and do all that stuff. But you would just be hanging there one handed while you fish for your light and whatever. I wanted to get to the top. Anyway, maybe the last pitch, I was like, I'm not making it to the top. I'm my pants right now. I basically climbed the last pitch, climbing a few moves, basically like clamping to not show and then being like if i move well i'm like this is all a disaster anyway i wound up making like two or three emergency moves off route to this like kind of one-handed jug pulled my pants down took on like the side of the route off route thankfully kind of fine all very watery very disastrous very giardia total all bad news and you know eaten alive by mosquitoes it's dark i'm just hanging one-handed took this disaster poop and then 
couldn't really do any cleanup because I, I mean, I had TP in my backpack, but you're kind of like, oh. <laughs> so I wound up climbing the rest of the route with my pants around my ankles. It just like, and then made it to the top of the tower, uh, still with my pants off and then did my cleanup and like dealt with things. And you know, it all wound up kind of fine. But I was like, oh, <laughs> it's not like the one handed, like literally just hanging on the side of a cliff, one hand on a jug, like <laughs> taking a dump. And you're like, it was all, it's all been much. Oh. I was very, it's very embarrassing. I was all sort of like, this is really sad. And so I almost bailed <laughs> for the day. Cause I was like, this is not, it was like, cause you go out so long hoping to have this heroic experience where like, I feel like a boss. And I was like, I feel like a little kid that just <laughs> shit his pants. I was like, this is really sad. So I almost bailed and went home, but then I was like, well, it's kind of even worse. <laughs> and so I wound up finishing the whole outing and it, it wound up fine, but yeah, it was sad. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. That. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just had to get it off my chest. Yeah. No, I've had a bunch of uh, like you know hanging on poops while soloing because there are a lot of places where you're like there's no ledge for three pitches or something, and you're just kind of like, well, like it's time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, Jordan wanted me to ask you about shit pudding and where you stop to poop on your solo of El Cap. Well, shit pudding is just when you poop on a rock and then you hurl the rock off. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> which is pretty, you know, it's like a shot put, but a shit put. Mm -hmm. um, I've done that all over the world on different ledges, different <laughs> rocks. I mean, in general, that's a much better way because it leaves no impact for other climbers and it's cleaner and it's and it's fine. You know, especially if you're in like the middle of nowhere and, um, you know, it's fine. Yeah, don't do not do not do this off your local popular multi-pitch. Yeah, yeah, or don't do climb. this like at a normal sport cliff or, you know, it's, it's like the, the point is that it's better to hurl it into somewhere that no one will ever go if it's possible. No. Um, yeah, and then when I sold it all cap, yeah, I took an emergency dump sort of midway also. You did? But yeah, yeah. It's uh, They didn't include it in the movie, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> but but that was sort of poor form. That I wound up just going down a chimney uh, uh, behind the spire, which is like not... Though I did go in a much better way because people do that occasionally when they're bivvied there, which is kind of poor form. But it's because typically if you're roped up and you're doing that, you kind of stop at a certain spot and it winds up like landing. Mm. I went like way lower and like way further in there and basically pooped into a spot where it's like gone. Okay. Um, because, you know, because I was soloing anyway. So it's just kind of like, like I'm going I think you way. get a pass while you're yeah, soloing. Yeah, and that was kind of the thing. I was, I was like, it's way better to just go. if you Like if you feel like you even might need to, you should definitely go. Because, you know, when you have the crux of El Cap above you, you're sort of like, you know, this is the time. Yeah. Yeah. Aside from cutting out, stopping to take a poop in the middle of your solo, were there any amazing scenes or moments that got cut out from that film? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it was two years of my life. It's like, there's so much. So much. But um, Anything that you wish had gotten in there? No, that, no. That I mean, I would out? say that the movie far exceeded any hopes or dreams I had for it. Really? Oh, that's, yeah. It's so amazing. crazy. I got to watch it on mm -hmm. IMAX, and you're like, dude, it's a movie about me sending the route that I'm most proud of in my life probably on IMAX. You're like, that's fucking <laughs> that's cool. Sick. It's insane. Yeah, like, the footage sick. of El Cap is insane. Yeah. It, like, looks amazing. Everything about it, you're like, this is so cool. Yeah. 